Believe it or not, you're living in the post-apocalyptic era right now. See, those mountains out there are giant tree stumps of silica trees that used to reach up higher than the clouds. And they're all gone now. So clearly, we're living in the post-apocalyptic era. And, you know, they show you all these images of, you know, like nuclear bombs and stuff like that. And they tell you that if a nuclear bomb goes off, the radiation will take tens of thousands of years to clear up. But then you go to Hiroshima and Nagasaki and they built right on top of Ground Zero. And they're, it's all fake. The cities were firebombed. And uh, you've been hustled about everything in your history books. So you're in the post-apocalyptic era right now. Those were giant silica trees that used to reach up above the clouds. You know that Jack and the Beanstalk? You know, they rub this shit in your face, people. So it's true. We're in the post-apocalyptic era right now. And, you know... It is just that simple, whether you see it or not. I'm telling you that it's been rubbed in your face since day one. How people don't see this is beyond me. And, uh, you know, the earth is flat. Everybody thinks to run a ball floating through space is a monkey. It's kind of silly. And uh, your compass needle, if you pick up any compass, you'll see that needle is pointing to the center of the flat earth plane. There's a holy grail there, a fountain of youth, where you drink from those living waters and get eternal life. And... Uh, you need to get to my channel and catch up on reality. People ask me all the time about CERN and the Mandela Effect. CERN is of no concern. That's Shiva. And he's a male inside of a flaming asshole. The Big Bang is a hoax. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out of the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane. Every compass points to it. You don't have to like it. CERN is a hoax. The Mandela Effect is a hoax. And anybody pushing that shit is a filthy fucking retard lost at sea and officially dead, and uh, nobody has to like it. CERN is a fucking money pit, and uh, the Mandela effect is a fucking joke. I'm explaining to you. I put up gallons of fucking blood, spiritual currency, so I could see into the future, and I could do all kinds of cool shit. And I'm telling you, CERN is a money pit, NASA is a money pit, AIDS is a money pit, it's fake, everything's fake, Ebola is fake, your whole world is fake. There's nothing real in your world. Your calendar's fake. You put on your satanic robe at graduation. You took your test with your number two shit pencil. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You're so filthy, retarded, and necrophiliac sick. You're legally dead. Look it up. You're a monster by legal definition. And you're a fucking retard. You're a filthy robot. You have your cell phone. You're cyborged all out. Fucking silly human slave. With all the hype out there about cloning, you know, people get carried away with this stuff. And if you do your research, you'll see that Dolly the sheep never was cloned it was a hoax look it up it's all fraud and it's been exposed and human cloning has been exposed as a fraud also you can't be cloned you're a divine being cloning of humans primates mammals it's impossible and when they tell you that they can do this stuff it's just bullshit it's been exposed they can't do it in the lab they cannot clone humans it's impossible you're a divine being you think you're on a ball floating through space as a monkey and uh you think you're a fucking accident. And it's pitiful how fucking retarded everybody is. At the center of the flat earth plane, this is where the screwing is going on. This is where Jesus the Son is literally banging the fuck out of Mother Earth. And through that transaction, the great dragon Typhon, the mother of all creation and of humanity, is born. This is where you will drink from the living waters. See that light called the North Star In the middle of the sky like a bullseye It's gonna be there the rest of your life It ain't moving out in a previous video that the ancient gods of the past are real and uh, they give out gifts if you stand in truth for the benefit of all to bring forth heaven on earth release everybody from bondage and uh, you get the favor of the gods and goddesses of this realm that you live you're in the Colosseum right now so when you see people talking shit like 
Oh, if you put your blood up beside quasi-luminous, under blood over intent to bring forth heaven on earth, that you're going to be demon-possessed. And this is kind of funny. Uh, these are flippy Jesus freaks you can't possibly imagine. They start out all their videos with, Praise Jesus! That's kind of funny. They don't even know that Jesus is the sun above your head. And it's conscious. And until you look at the sun and speak your intent, that you intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition. You know, you ain't getting no knowledge. You're not going to get any power. You're a filthy monkey lost at sea. It's pitiful. You're the demon. You figure eight. If you break off the question mark, what you have left over is the candy cane. And this is telling you something. Just like the exclamation point is telling you, you know, you're made out of clay. And if you want to become a super being, then you're going to need to get to the center of the flat earth plane. Where the black sun is sucking off this light from the sun above your head. And through this transaction, the aurora borealis comes shooting out. And this is the Earth's memory. This is the Akashic record. And what I'm telling you is that, you know, numbers, like the number symbol right there, the hashtag, that's one cross up, one cross down. You know, the question marks like the quest ion. And the candy cane, you know, you suck that just like you put that wafer on your tongue at church. This is the body and blood of Christ. There's no way to fuck this up. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. And it's right over there. I know it's hard to believe. You think you're in a ball floating through space as a monkey. But it's actually one side of a light hole is a black hole. It's as above, so below. As within, so without. The sun above your head is making your flesh, your bones, and your blood. And now that you're here, the black sun is bringing everything into fruition. You know, you're a, everybody's going to go to a funeral and bow their head in prayer. Okay? You're going to bow your head in prayer. You're going to set up your Christmas tree, which is the spear of destiny, piercing the side of Jesus Christ who's on the cross. You know, you spire the lights around. It's like the rainbow lights raw. You have the balls on there. It's the two ball cane. There's no way to fuck this up. Literally, you'd have to be so retarded it goes beyond measure, for heaven's sakes. If I don't make videos, everybody will surely die. You won't make it to the Holy Grail. It's just that simple. You know, you're living in Babylon right now. You see, Babel is what people do. They, they babble on about useless information. You know, you stand around a water cooler, you hear them talking about, you know, the Super Bowl. Everything's useless information. And once you figure out that every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail where you get eternal life and passage into the Garden of Eden, you know, your whole life's going to change. Because, you know, right now, you've, you've been babbled to death with useless information. You think you're on a ball floating through space as a monkey. You think you evolved from a monkey. You're in the fucking Colosseum. There's a dome above your head. It's one light hole, one black hole, on loop through the Holy of Holies. Every compass points to it, okay? There's no way to fuck it up. This is where Jesus is being eaten up by the black sun and the green astral jet comes shooting out. This is the infinite potential, the earth's memory, the aurora borealis, the living dynamo. And you bow your head in prayer to this black sun. You blow out the candles, make a wish. You sit in a pew because it's the astraling light. You know, you every word you speak is a magic spell. You took spell casting at school. You took your test with your number two shit pencil. Number one is a peepee. -pee. Number two is shit. You have literally everything in reverse. You throw your coin in the wishing well. You blow on the dice. This is the living dynamo, the infinite potential. And it's right over there. X marks the spot, the center of the dish. And it's kind of funny. If I don't make videos every day pointing this out, Nobody will, and everybody will surely die. I have everyone in New York looking for him. I doubt we will see him again. Do you know? You stabbed the devil in the back and forced him back into the life that he had just lived. People leave me messages. You know, you might be taken more seriously if you didn't call yourself Satan. That's kind of funny. I put up gallons of motherfucking blood under the Prince of Darkness Speaks, and I got eyes to see shit nobody can see. And we all know who the Prince of Darkness is, and we all know he's uh, publicly stated his name uh, via YouTube, so I'm not exposing any additional information. But uh, if you type in his name into the uh, calculator right here,
Look at that. You see that? 144. Hmm. That's awesome. Blood Brothers? What the devil is that? Well, it's an ancient ritual where two friends intermingle their blood, thus sealing a bond even deeper than friendship. <sighs> okay, your turn. <laughs> dead in a necrophiliac alley for and in an eight you ship her you're officially dead in an eight you ship her you're officially dead in a necrophiliac alley for and in an eight you ship her I leave for heaven in a nice new ship hurry now we have reprogrammed reality language is a virus religion an operating system and prayers are just so much fucking spam That. We shall see if you have used it well. Your best is good. They took a print of your soul and they mailed it off to the Vatican and they placed you down as a stillborn. It's kind of crazy how paradise has already been found and it's right over there at the center of the flat earth plane it's been there this whole time staring us in the face and everybody's so filthy retarded it's like where do you even begin to try and wake somebody up that paradise is right over there all you could do is make videos pointing out the truth that at the center of the flat earth plane this is where the screwing is going on this is where Jesus the Son is literally banging the fuck out of Mother Earth. And through that transaction, the great dragon Typhon, the mother of all creation and of humanity, is born. This is where you will drink from the living waters beyond the poles and you will become superhuman. You will cross across the frost bridge with me, blood thicker than water. And this is the rainbow bridge. You need to be blood thicker than water with me. You need to come with me if you want to live. I'm going there in a couple of years to the Holy Grail. And if you want to come there with me, you need to be blood thicker than water to pass through the frost bridge and into the land of perpetual twilight. This is the Earth's memory, the goddess of the Earth. This is the infinite potential. It's conscious. I'm explaining it to you, not at all asking you that... It's right over there at the center of the flat earth plane. And every day you wait until you start making videos pointing this out uh, makes no sense to me. It's that you're leaving your life in my hands completely to make enough videos to wake up enough people to make an exodus happen to the Holy Grail. It's literally right over there. Jesus is the way. Well, Jesus is the sun and he places his light into the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane. It's just that simple. So... Your blood is the most powerful substance, and you need to come with me if you want to live. You're going to die for sure if I don't make videos pointing this out. You should write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth. You do this on video, and you publish your video right beside mine on YouTube. You title it Blood Over Intent. You tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. Then you publish it beside my own. There's no way to fuck this up. We'll all be side by side. Blood is thicker than water. So you see here, writing out on a piece of paper, this brings it from your head, this idea. And then you put it on paper, bringing it from the imaginary into this physical realm. And your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. So you spill your blood on top of it. And then you videotape this act and you publish it to YouTube. You title it Blood Over Intent. You tag it blood over intent and description blood over intent. And what happens is your blood ends up side by side. Blood is thicker than...